that's fine. Now Einstein says, now let's do a different experiment. Or what's that? What, what, let me put it this way. According to this theory is a different experiment. I'm not going to move the magnet. I'm just going to let the magnet sit here. I'm going to move the coil. Really? That's a, that's, that's a different experiment? Yeah. Okay. Why? And this is, this is, if you just read the first paragraph of the paper, this is what Einstein's going on about. So I just hold the magnet and move the coil with the same relative speed. Well, now, because the magnet isn't moving, the magnetic field isn't changing. Because the magnetic field isn't changing, there is no electric field, right? Well, if there's no electric field, why are you getting a current? Well, because there's this other thing called the electromagnetic force, and this is, you know, comes from an, another piece of Maxwell's equations. And it says if you have a charged particle moving through a magnetic field, that creates, directly creates a force on the particle, not by creating an electric field, but directly creates a force on the particle. And that force is just exactly enough, as you might imagine, to create exactly the same current. And if you do it this way, so they're both moving, then you've got kind of half the electric field and half the electromagnetic, uh, electromotive force, but they add up to the same thing. And you get exactly the same phenomena. Now, that is, in fact, what happens. So this is not, we did an experiment and it didn't come out the way we expected. What bothered Einstein was that the phenomena displayed a symmetry that the theoretical explanation didn't. 